So what, what, were, what were some of the major challenges for you growing up that you, and what did you learn from those, Rob? Major challenges for me growing up, I mean, my mum was a, um, she was a hairdresser and um, my dad was an engineer, so I didn't really come from like a, an, an, an educated family and they, they wanted me to go to university. It was like a big thing, they wanted me to go to university. Well, I went for a week and then jacked it in. Kind of wanted to prove to them that I didn't need to have like a good education to kind of do okay. So that kind of motivated me yeah, um, a little bit. And uh, but generally, just just the challenges that are being organised, focusing, understanding your objectives, understanding the basics in in all things in life. I kind of have ten golden rules that I, that I live by, um, and sometimes I vary from those, and things always go wrong. So. I remember when I was 30, when I had like four or five years off, where I didn't do any work at all. Um, I went around some of the universities and some of the colleges um, in, in, in the UK and I actually lectured on these, these, these 10 golden rules. And uh, I think a, a few of the students have actually messaged me since or wrote to me and said, oh, wow, that worked, you know. So really sticking to the basics and uh, simplifying things down um, is generally you know, it generally helps you get over the challenges because things just go wrong. In life, things just go wrong. Like you can just wake up tomorrow and something like out of your control can go wrong and you can either be positive about it, it happened, move on, or you can just dwell in the past and be negative. And if something happens outside of your control, then there's nothing you can do about it. And so it's kind of been a lot of life lessons for me on things that have gone wrong in my businesses or, or in my life um, where where I've been able to say, was that within my control? Yes or no? Yes, well, how can I make sure it doesn't happen again? No, fuck it, move on. What That's are some of those 10 thing. golden rules? Oh, I tell me, I used to go through don't, them. Don't, don't do all one 10, of them is if it's outside of your control, forget it. That's one of the rules. Hmm. Um, a big one, one for me is tomorrow is another day. So, so no matter what happens today, you wake up tomorrow, you're fresh. Tomorrow is tomorrow's another day. Move, move on to the, so you know I mean from my, from, from my point of view you know most of my golden rules are about about positive mental attitude I also have things that I've stuck by which is uh, it's always better to, to work with people that you've known for a long time you can get the best out of them whereas you take someone new who you don't know the, 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 they come with baggage whereas I would rather have someone I've known for 10, 15 years, I know their strengths, know their weaknesses, I'm able to get the best out of them. So certain business things like that, which are quite contrary against normal normal business uh, methodology. Um, but yeah, I mean, they've all come true for me. And, um, and I, I, would, I would definitely think that whenever I'm making mistakes, and I'm feeling down, something's going wrong, uh, my girlfriend Alex, she, uh, she wrote my 10 golden rules up and put them in the shower for me. And so every time I know when I'm in the shower, I look across and I think, and I read them every morning. That, that is super important though, if you want to be successful, is to have some sort of automated systems around you that can continually remind you to get into like a mindfulness state, I guess, or, you know, stop drifting to the future, stop drifting behind, like, and just get really super present. Yeah, and also um, very important things um, about trusting your gut, and one of my golden rules is JFD, just fucking do it. Don't mess about, mm. you know, don't, just make a decision. And that's something that, uh, you know, that's, that's, that's still me in good, in, good, in, in good way. But I think like just generally, whatever, everyone's gonna have 10 lessons that they've learned throughout their lives. Have, writing those 10 most important lessons down and making sure you stick by those. And obviously you can take one out, put one in, that's that, that's that's really held me in in good stead. I mean, sometimes like uh, you know, when things have been really like going wrong, like uh, um, you know, just reading that in the showers made me think it's not that bad. My name is Rob Young, and I am high stakes poker. <laughs> <laughs>